So today in this video, I'm talking about uh, the Price Manager, an app that's recently been released by CSI Works, and we have made some major updates to it as well. So I just want to kind of briefly cover um, the major difference of this app versus our discounting apps is that rather than issuing a discount, this one uh, is capable of changing the base price of an item in flight. Uh, during transactions. So theoretically, you could have the same set of items with the different uh, price points throughout the day, right? So for example, um, you know, uh, an item can cost one price in the morning, uh, another price in the evening, uh, and something else in the middle uh, in the afternoon. And I'd like to show you how that's done and how that can be worked. Um, so, we're gonna start with an app called Price Manager. There it is, and um, you know, why don't I zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so first we're gonna click on this plus sign. Um, it gives us a message about uh, triggering into the days. Um, and so we're gonna say uh, AM price, right? Uh, for instance, we're gonna say that it's an all day event we're gonna say that it's recurring um, and we're gonna change it to every one week, uh, every day of the week, like this. Um, so we have a duration for 24 hours. We have it set up uh, to start today uh, at midnight and then go on for 24 hours. And then we have this to repeat every day of every week. And we wanna change the prices up, um, for example, and just for demo purposes, I'm going to say 100%. Okay, so there it is, 100% double prices. And we're going to go into our category two, and we're going to grab these two items from category. Uh, well, just this one actually, T test two is going to be our uh, item. There it is, we have our item, and we have our price change. And so now we're going to go to register. I'm going to save this existing transaction, go into our category one and try our test two item. And you can see that the price got doubled. Um, and there it is. That's kind of how it works. Now, let me show you how that would interface with the uh, modifiers. So let's go into the inventory. Right. So here's my inventory app. And we're going to find our, what was it, test two? No, it was category one, test two. This is our item, right? And see how we have no modifiers on it. Uh, ooh. Actually, we don't even have modifiers, so I won't be able, I won't be showing you modifiers. Not on this account, apparently. But um, there it is. So I want to show you that this functionality is, um, well, not show you, but assure you that this functionality also extends to modifiers as well.